is RJ Thompson. I'm a professor of graphic design at Amazon State University. Um, and I won't take too much of your time, but I wanted to introduce you to uh, a project that uh, has been transformative in the, the city of Youngstown. Uh, Youngstown, if, if you're not familiar, much like some of the communities you've experienced uh, throughout this region, is a post-industrial community and revival. Um, and I've been given the, the opportunity to have a heavy hand in revitalizing not just the community and its culture, but also uh, its economy. So, uh, originally in 2014, the city of Youngstown received a $250,000 uh, Federal Economic Development Administration grant for the purposes of creating a book called Strategies for Economic Development in the city of Youngstown. And one of the things that I realized is you can't really put together a, a book on strategies for economic development and marketing if you don't really have any visual identity to speak of. So some of you may uh, recognize this. This is the seal of the city of Youngstown, which is actually the seal of the state of Ohio. So there's nothing uh, particularly original here, um, you know, fairly um, you know, there's really just no identity. The city had no idea that they needed a marketing campaign, rebranding. Um, they just didn't know. They didn't know who to ask. They didn't know how to access it. They didn't have the terminology. So, I'm skipping a lot of steps and stories here. If you join the workshop later this afternoon, my partner and I are running. Uh, I'll, I'll jump into this in a little bit more detail. But uh, this is, the, this is the, uh, the solution that we came up with. There are two specific designs here. This is the alpha. This is the new brand mark for the city government of Youngstown. And this is the beta, the campaign narrative. So this is the logo that we make available to uh, members of the community in Youngstown and the, uh, the suburban cities and boroughs and townships uh, to essentially use in their marketing and communications that uh, create good projects in the city of Youngstown. Some variations on this, departmental branding. The idea here is that we're able to use this brand mark, the city of view, essentially everywhere. Not just on government trucks and vehicles and websites and letterheads, but really everywhere. Uh, even in coordination with some of the neighborhood associations that have existing logos. Uh, we want to make sure that whatever we develop on the city side, our partners in the community can utilize. Essentially, we want them to use the platform that we've created in Youngstown to communicate what they're doing and make whatever they're doing big. So don't hold the colors against me. This is just for uh, experimentation purposes, but each of the neighborhoods within the city of Youngstown would have their own specific color schemes. They would stand out amongst the whole field of logos. Um, and uh, I do want to share this one particular story with you. So this was uh, this is an example of uh, what community buy-in looks like. So uh, I had to present this work to not just the city government, but also to all the stakeholders in Youngstown. And I was I had to present this and it had to be successful. And it was the one make or break career type of opportunity that I needed. <laughs> I needed to succeed. And sure enough. I wasn't able to go because my wife's appendix exploded that morning, but somehow I was able to record an hour's worth of presentation in a very hot SUV uh, with a two-month-old child in my arms, uh, get the video uploaded to Dropbox, download it in Youngstown, a computer and speaker set up, and the meeting went off without a hitch, and everyone loved it. Uh, Soon after that, we were able to leverage the City of View platform uh, for a variety of, of grant opportunities. Uh, chief amongst them, a uh, creative placemaking grant through the National Endowment for the Arts. So we're able to use the City of View, uh, not just in arts grants, but economic development, community development, federal grants, uh, well beyond the arts. And it's particularly exciting. I do want to show you a, a few images here from the platform that I will, again, get into more detail in the workshop. But you've all been talking about storytelling and how critical it is to the, su to the success of your programs. Uh, I, too, am using storytelling in really meaningful and interesting ways. And it's not all positive. There's some really heartbreaking stories about living, working, learning, playing in Youngstown, and in some cases, thriving. Uh, these are two historians. 
Uh, I think for this group here, you all have an appreciation for history, but trying to get uh, you know uh, folks from the community interested in the, in the history of Youngstown is particularly difficult. Um, we're also uh, promoting the efforts of our entrepreneurs. Youngstown has a very entrepreneurial culture uh, with the Youngstown Business Incubator, which is one of the number one ranked incubators in the entire world. So the rest of these are just uh, some examples of the work that's been going out. Um, in 2017, this work uh, received a Best of Marketing Award from the Ohio Economic Development Association. And uh, I, just, I also happen to receive a, a Governor's Award in the Arts for this work as well. The model that I've developed can be applied to any community of any size. Uh, obviously, the more difficult, the, the more challenging it is, or the larger, the more difficult, pardon me. But uh, it is scalable, and it's exciting to be able to bring this model to smaller communities. So outside of Youngstown, uh, I'm working with a variety of communities in eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania, and some in the Midwest. So we're able to transform all aspects of the city through this work. Um, and it's particularly exciting, and I'd be happy to have uh, conversations with you about how design is being utilized in your community's communications. Um, so stop by the workshop, or maybe I'll see you at lunch. Um, and this is the company that I started based on all of this, so if you've got a card or if you look at the, the proceedings from the conference, that's me. So thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Anyone like to address a question?